think it's turning out pretty good I like it well that ink had not disappeared yet and neither has that one Wow some of them has already disappeared now I got a red one and the red one does not show up too good on the brown see here well it's really an orange but it don't show up too good but it's okay. I'm getting it done. We don't want to put it on the brown. So, now then. I've got this far with. I accidentally cut you off. I think that was a personal choice. Anyway. So now I'm working on this up here. So I'm using the same template that I did up here. And now I'm going to work on the one that goes over here on this side. So I'm going to get rid of this one. And I'm going to get this one, and I'm going to use the inside of it to draw it out and all. I really do like these pens, too. I don't know which one's going to be my favorite. Them or these. But I have used that one, and it acts like it's almost out of ink. <laughs> so... It's okay. We can handle it. Let's see. Does this one right here fit? Barely, but I, now let's go with something different. A bigger one. Let's try this one out. Yep, that one right there will work. I'm using different sizes of these things. I've got four out here. One, two, three, and this one here makes four. Don't never know what size you're going to want. Alright. So we can turn this around. And open it up a little bit. Work on it some more. Come on now. How much do I got to open you? Put you a couple more twists there. There we go. Now we got it. Now let's get that bad baby done. Can't believe I'm still on block two. I think, uh, alright, let's measure and see if this is going to be enough thread. To, yep, this will be enough thread. Um, can't believe I'm just on block two. But it's okay. I don't mind. I guess it'll work, all work out in the end, won't it? Yeah, uh, I got a question. How many quilts do I make? Uh, can I make, you know, how long does it take me to make a quilt? And I told him, I said, it depends upon the size. And I, I think with the smaller quilts, I average about three a month. So that's not too bad. I just never really did put it to the test to find out how long it takes me to do one. Because I work on it whenever I want to, and if I don't feel like working on it, I don't. It's like earlier today. Didn't feel like working on it, so I did. I washed, I washed me some clothes. Something I really needed. It's hard to do it in this house with all them boxes and all. But it's about to come to an end finally. And then I can uh, 
cl start cleaning this house up. And I, and I can't wait. It's going to be great to have me a house back. Be able to get in there and cook and clean. I like to cook. See, these right here, they don't take very long to do. It's just getting to do it. <coughs> um, you gotta really, even if you don't have the willpower to want to do it, talk yourself into it. Uh, it will look better when I get done. Um, I can enjoy it. You know, I want to do some knitting. So, I think my next project that I'm going to do is some knitting. I haven't done no knitting. I like to keep my, chore, uh, my skills up. And that's something, you know, I, I, I haven't done in a while. So, I don't know if I even remember how to do it. But, I've got a... a Afghan, or I don't know, just a piece that I've been working with for a long, long time. And, um, or I worked on it a long, long time ago. How's that? And all it is is just yarn that is too small to make a project out of. Not enough to make a project out of whatever. Just whatever. And and I will be truthful with you, I didn't care what size the yarn was, if it was different or not. But it it still turned out pretty good. Me and I would tell you, me and Rick both, as small as it is, stretched around us and we stretched it was it would fit both of us last night to uh, so we'd have it you know because we couldn't find that and everything's dirty because of the animals so now that's still too tight we're gonna loosen it wrong button well there we go this is the way it needs to go that's the way it needs to go well, now we got that one done. Alright. So. Now. Now, before I do that, this one, I want to work on this part right here. Before I do anything, or any, uh, put that one on. But really, where I need to come to is right here. And I need to work on this one. This one right here should be my next block. I want to work my way this way. I need to cut them out. I want to check something out. I want to see if a little one will work on this. So I'm going to get me a little pair. Alright, let's see if this little pair will work. Yep, it does. I give mom back hers now. Let's get that one off it's up here. Well, got to push the things together for them to work. All right, I'm gonna give these back to mom here in a minute. Let me go get you that thing I was talking about. All righty. Now then, this is what I've been talking about. I take just yarn that I can't do anything with it and look at it. Me, let me fold it in half. It's got different yarn in it. Me and Rick covered up underneath it last night. And this right here is half of it. I'm pretty sure, hopefully, you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, you can see it, and it's got different yarn in it, 
and uh, this right here is the bottom of this is what I where I started. Now wait, this is where I started at. This yarn right here is real thick. This right here, peach color, is real thick. And, the, and it doesn't matter what kind of yarn I put in there. And I have all kinds of little balls of yarn. Now, I either use knitting needles like this, or I use this one right here. I don't know if y'all, yeah, there you go. You can see the, the hook at the end. And it's just a real big old long one. And I've used this one on it. So it, it really doesn't matter. And I bought a brand new pair today. Well, I, they're not brand new. But these right here, I bought them today for $1.50. And I'm thinking about trying this. I don't know if they'll fit or not. They'll work on this thin. Probably not. No, this right here won't work. I'll have to go with uh, this size or bigger. And this is a this is a six. So I can go on up to a ten on it. But this right here. I'm going to start getting my yarn together. I don't know when it's going to be. I'm going to try to get my yarn together and do some of this. And I figured I'd show you all my, the way I do it. Now, I don't know if it's right or not. I taught myself to do it. I taught myself to do that because I didn't know, I, I didn't know how to do it. first one I done Man, I'll tell you what, I really messed it up really big. Alright, let's see what we can do about putting this one on. Now, we're going to stick this one right here. Let's go here and let's look at this one and make sure we're going to do it the same identical way. Because we want it the same. No different. And what kind of hoop that one ain't gonna fit. Wish I had another one. But I'm pretty sure this one will. Alright. We're gonna work on the middle one first. There we go. on that middle one first. There we go. Now we're ready to rock and roll with this. After I fix the bottom. There we go. Yep, I, I like to feel better now. I can get past this second block, get busy on my third one. I'm doing it one, two, three, four, going that direction and all. Because if you do it the longer way, all the way down, it seems like it does it a whole lot better and all. It's like it uh, gathers out better push the material which direction you want and if you do decide to start in the middle and work your way out it ain't gonna hurt anything either I just choose to pick a corner and work down then go 
uh, like in the middle here, the middle over here, and then go that one, and then go that one. That's the way sometimes I do it, and um, it just depends on how you think it should go. Quilts are like, uh, to me, quilts, is, uh, quilts have attitudes. They're each individual, and they express how they feel. You understand what I'm saying? I, it, it's something that I've noticed. I know it sounds weird. I know it does. I mean, when y'all make a quilt, think about looking at it. Well, what does that express, you know? it done. Alright. Let's get this bigger one on here. We'll level it up with that one. Draw it out. There is, you know where um, I took that one quilt to, the double wedding band, down to that um, uh, thrift shop and gave it away to that woman. She has a, um, looks like Down Syndrome guy working there. And he loved John Deere. And I said, I don't have any John Deere material. I, I mean, that I have even, don't even have the colors for John Deere here. I know it's yellow, green, and black. And, but, I'm like, I don't have nothing like that. But I'm pretty sure that I could pick out a quilt that that character would love. Was eating that men over there or what? He messing with that thing I put that men in. That's weird. Probably ought to go out there and get some more mint so back there. I don't think I put any leaves back there. go get me some of those sticky things and use, try to use some sticky things. I 
Bobo's down here at the, at the bottom. And we can put the other one on. Get busy on it. Gotta get my needle, get me some more thread on there. That ain't worth uh, hanging on to. So let's get me out some more thread here. Do work with. Check it out. Take this one. It's going to go right here at the end and go outward. It's good to me. When you're doing a quilt like this, it's better to do one at a time anyway. It kind of gives you a step away from the sewing constantly. Have y'all ever met anybody who don't know how old they are? don't celebrate their birthdays even though they know when their birthday is they don't celebrate it they don't know how old they are and they're not retarded or anything it just doesn't mean anything to them they don't really care how old they are or anything like that I mean that's just a question though out there But by the time this gets on, I'll forget that I put this question on here. If I, I could probably probably put up two or three videos a day because I put I do a video and then uh, when I get done with it, I just put it up and I keep it on private until I'm ready. To, for the next day and then I open one up so I could put I could put a bunch of videos on a day I mean I work on these quilts all the time until I get to where I just don't want to do it right now and then I don't I think I got about like nine videos be, uh, before before you look at this one so just think about about nine videos from here, and it'll be around the time that I put the um, did the uh, mint and everything. So that'll give you some kind of looking at at what you know how long it takes. Now we want to do this other one. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, it's turning out good. It's turning out good. Now, when I get done with this one, I'm going to go on up here, and I'm going to work on this one the same way I did this one. Sometimes I want to put too big of a stitch in there. I don't want to. Sometimes it just happens. It's all good. silence okay. you know they do that uh, like I've been doing the quilt and stitch I wonder if that really does work really well uh, I think I'm going to try to Let's put you down here where you're up close and personal to it. There we go. Let, let's just see if it will work. Uh, yeah, you're focusing in. There you go. All right. So what you do is you stick it in there like that. You take your thread and you wrap it around the tip three times. Two and three. Like that. I hope it showed it. Let me take this out. Let's see if I can. My hand is in the way. Try to play with it a little bit so you don't get a little more closer to it. Alright. Um, I don't know how to do it. I'm going to put. Let's try that. All right. We're going to put put it in like that. And then we're going to take and wrap this around it. One, two, and three. We're going to see if it, if it knots it now. I would say, yeah, it will. As long as you have your knot into this, because of the way that it looks. So now I'm going to knot it, and I'm going to look at it, and just it by itself. And now, I'm going to hide it right in here. So I'm going to go like that. But I've always often wondered, too... And three and you know this right here will tell the tale when I look at them at the and then I might be going oh my god all that's gonna come loose but nope you see that and I tied that so that means all these that I have done like that will probably end up coming loose well, that one don't want to come loose 
neither does that one. I mean, it's coming out of the where I had put it in there, but I'm gonna leave it. I think I'm gonna quit doing that though. I don't think I'm gonna be too happy with that. It may come loose. All them quilting stitches that I've been doing. All right, I'm gonna edit this thing. Hard stick that I did uh, not I lose. I walked oh, yeah, around barred, and uh, I had, permanently lost it in the store. But <laughs> here's how we measure. So yeah. We put the line on the line or the yardstick on the line, and then we take this wonderful friction pin, which is pen, not pin, pen uh, <laughs> that comes in various colors, and you can write on it, and when you iron it, it comes completely off. So it's great for quilting. I got the ones that disappear all on their own. One of my subscribers sent them to me. I oh, I like love that. them. That sounds well, you good have to too. get on it and oh, do it, though. It yeah. Don't, it don't last long. It don't last long. Oh, and I like it. It disappears too much. Yeah. Uh, it's only like, uh, it only lasts it's like when we were, three were three kids minutes, in school and we would uh, send so you, notes well, with you, invisible you ink. The, yeah. 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 Oh, no. No, I'm hoarding those, too. You have to take one off the wall, I think I'm sir. Have seal. I'll let you do one more, and then I'll. Sylvie's like my favorite. I'll I aggravate him. I aggravate him. No. You have to love him, though. Yeah, oh yes, I know. do love him, but I I do I aggravate him. I, sometimes I get in the mood I aggravate says, Rick too. He said I'm like his wife, and I talk back to him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm glad she talked back to you. Because <laughs> she's really sweet. So one yard of each you got to talk back yeah. to your husband, otherwise she'll get walked off. I, I think my idea <laughs> will work out great. I can learn to free motion on it. It's a yard. Mm -hmm. And then after I, you know, get to playing with it and all, then I can make a quilt. Yes, on it. yes I do. You want it? There you go. The polka dots are wonderful. Polka dots are wonderful. Uh, pretty yeah. and polka dots. Let's see. Pretty and polka dots. Yep. Pretty and polka dots. Wait. Yeah. You're gonna look pretty and polka dots. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you got a few polka dots there. Uh, I think they're all Just polka dots. She got all polka dots. No oh. stripes or or chevron. Yep. Anything. Oh, I got my own over here. Oh. He's, he's, he's me. Yeah, I figured that would be the best way to do it. You know, and I can still give it away when I get done. All right, I'm gonna quit this. All right, we're gonna work on this one right here. Um, I did some shirts for my the guy that. I lived in this house over on four or five Briggs. Uh, uh, yeah, four, yeah, it was four or five. Something like that anyway. I can't remember now. But I did some shirts for my old landlord. And he gave me $20. So I took my $20. And Rick added, had to add some to it. But that, you know, so I'd have enough money to do with what I wanted. So it got me a thing about him. And I got me one yard each of polka dot material it was two dollars and fifty cents a yard so I got me nine yards nine different type and when you open it up like this and you have a pretty decent piece just in half of it so what I'm thinking about doing is taking and cutting it in half, and then I have a front and a back, and do free motion on this part to do some practicing on free motion. And then I put them all together to make a quilt. That way I can still be able to do that. So I got me some different colors, and I think that's what I'm going to do. But before I do this one, and I'll, somebody was wanting me to do another one with that, uh, that this right here template. So I'm, I'm going to do it first before I do that one. 
but who knows? I may ought to do that one first so I can play with the free motion so when I get the other one done I can do it in free motion. But anyway, I'll figure it out. But um, so now we're going to work on this one right here. So we have to start off with one of these are here in the middle. And we were, I guess you've seen the video before this one where how they kept the material. I think that's an awful nice way to do it and then that way you know, you don't get a bunch of my, uh, chunks taken out and all. Because that don't, that don't work too well. Alright, I'm going to start off with this one right here. And we're going to get busy and we're going to get this one done. Emmy's on her way. She's going to spend the night tonight. And oh goodness, I forgot to trim that down. Um, I don't know what time she's going to get here. So, I'm going to try to get busy and get another one of these done. I want to work on, work on it as much as I can. But it'll take, it'll take days. If I just do a block a day, I'll be happy. take my time doing it. I'm not going to be in no rush. Oh, come on. Well, hand quilting is not that hard at all to do. It's just time consuming. And try to get your your deep stitches as, as close as you can um, together and not great big old huge ones. Because the great big huge ones don't hold up as good as the uh, as the smaller ones does. Now, I ain't doing that no more. I'm going to tie it this way. Because if those do come loose, those are the only ones I have. But I don't think I'm going to like that quilt and stitch. And I don't know how many quilts I've done that way. I'm losing my hair. So, I don't know. I'm still waiting on my building to come in. Today is Tuesday. So, hopefully it'll come tomorrow. We'll just have to wait till it does. Start right back over. I want to make sure I go down and get all the all the layers. I'm seeing something orange out out there, so I'll be back in a minute. All right, I'm just looking out the window, and I kept on seeing something orange. You're not going to believe what I'm looking at. Here you go. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That is gorgeous. I'm like, what is that orange thing? You can smell the peppermint here, too. 
Look at that. I thought that bush was dead. But it is not dead at all. Look how gorgeous. Alright, I'm going to end this video. See y'all next tutorial.